Kanye West is no stranger to dropping controversial albums, and Vultures is no exception. As a matter of fact, this might be the craziest album release that we've seen with Kanye. And that's just a lot, bro. We have so many wild albums. But with that being said, today I'm going to be talking about the rollout for this album, the post rollout. This album almost got deleted like four times, as well as talk about the future of Kanye. With that being said, I have a brand new Instagram account that's on screen right now. Please follow it. Please. With that being said, get your cranberry juice, get your Cheerios, and let's get right into this video. Every Kanye album has been delayed, but Kanye delayed Vultures Volume 1 like six times. And also, we have Vultures Volume 2 and 3 coming out. But Vultures 1 is having a hard time staying on streaming services. So first we had Spotify getting Vultures incredibly late. I remember I was listening to Spotify and Apple Music and Tidal and all these other things were getting it before. And I'm sitting here crying on Spotify because I'm like, when's it going to release? But then it gets finally released on Spotify and there's a bunch of copyright issues because Kanye had a hard time getting samples cleared and features cleared like as we've seen with Nubody, Nicki Minaj and all that. And it was just overall a very big mess and I'm starting to think Kanye doesn't really care about stuff like that but he definitely did it to add into the controversy because everybody's like wondering what's happening with vultures and all that and the entire industry is kind of against him right now so he also to promote this album made Yeezys $20 bro I got me a pair of Yeezys for $20 I mean the the shipping price we're not gonna talk about that that was like $40 shipping but he's doing a lot to promote this album to probably bring the narrative that everybody's trying to bring me down but I'm Kanye West and I stand and I prevail or something like that he's trying to hype himself up and and it's kind of working he's about to sell like 140k ish and that's after this album getting shut down on Apple Music for a couple hours and I was really thinking that Spotify was going to get shut down too but Spotify users prevailed in the end I guess and I was really worried about that. But Kanye also had a Super Bowl commercial where he spent like $70 million or a, a lot of money. A lot of money. It could have been $7 million. But he didn't spend any money on the actual ad itself. But he's had a lot of promotion for this Vulture stuff. And a lot has been going into it. And despite that, it's still not going to sell that that much. It's going to sell 140000 which by no means is small numbers. But his last album, Donda, sold around 200000 ish first week but this is still an incredible number for Kanye despite dropping actually on a Saturday which if you didn't know if you drop on a Friday it's a lot more beneficial that's when the the first week sales kind of starts off so if you were to drop on a Wednesday and he gets like 70,000 that's because it's only counting from Wednesday to the following Friday or however amount of time it is not a lot of time you didn't get a full week and in this case he got like only like six full days and still getting 140,000 despite it getting pulled off streaming services and all the complications I find it very interesting also big news for people who bought the Yeezy pods for 140 or however much it was he's refunding that and giving you them for like $20 ish but as we speak this album is still possibly going to be getting pulled off of streaming services. Kanye's distributor said that they're breaking some of their rules or something like that. As well as Ozzy Osbourne was like, I don't want to be anything to do with Kanye. Kanye said something about Ozzy Osbourne not having free speech or something like that. And his entire account being controlled by a bunch of managers and stuff. So, I mean, he kind of cooked Ozzy, I'm not going to lie to you. But... All that stuff, copyright issues, there's just so much going on with this album that it's kind of hard for Kanye to keep this album up and this could be the first time that we've ever seen a Kanye West album get put on a streaming services just to completely get wiped out. We've seen stuff like uh, Good A Job and uh, Yandi where it hasn't been released or anything like that but this would be a very monumental moment and a very interesting moment where it begs the question of a lot of things like it really makes it, it it puts it in perspective that such a big artist like Kanye can like do so much different things that will make you question the morality of everything because in reality everything is all perspective and with that being said though this video had a lot of information I think I think this video is very informative and if you agree with that then consider subscribing because I upload videos just like this two times a week with that being said I love you all very much I'm conflicted and I am out. Peace.